Human beings have been making up stories and theories to explain the stars since prehistoric times. And the study of the stars has played a crucial role in the development of science and technology throughout history, inspiring everything from calculus to clockwork. But the idea that the stars might be suns in their own right, unimaginably distant from Earth, is a surprisingly recent one. And it's only in the past century or so that astronomers have really got to grips with the true variety of stars. Here are 12 facts you never knew about stars. Enjoy! Number 1. Every star you see in the night sky is bigger and brighter than our sun. Of the 5,000 or so stars brighter than magnitude 6, only a handful of very faint stars are approximately the size and brightness of our sun and the rest are all bigger and brighter. Of the 500 or so that are brighter than fourth magnitude, which includes essentially every star visible to the unaided eye from an urban location, all are intrinsically bigger and brighter than our sun, many by a large percentage. Of the brightest 50 stars visible to the human eye from Earth, the least intrinsically bright is Alpha Centauri, which is still more than 1.5 times more luminous than our sun and cannot be easily seen from most of the northern hemisphere. Number two. Stories but from anywhere and everywhere. Okay, this one you should know, but it's pretty amazing to think that our own sun, located a mere 150 kilometers away, is average example of all the stars in the universe. Our own sun is classified as a G2 yellow dwarf star in the main sequence phase of its life. The sun has been happily converting hydrogen into helium at its core for 4.5 billion years and will likely continue doing so for another 7 billion years. When the sun runs out of fuel, it will become a red giant, bloating up many times its current size. As it expands, the sun will consume Mercury, Venus, and probably even Earth. Number 3. Stars are made of the same stuff. All stars begin from clouds of cold molecular hydrogen that gravitationally collapse. As the cloud collapses, it fragments into many pieces that will go on to form individual stars. The material collects into a ball that continues to collapse under its own gravity until it can ignite nuclear fusion at its core. This initial gas was formed during the Big Bang and is always about 74% hydrogen and 25% helium. Over time, stars convert some of their hydrogen into helium. That's why our sun's ratio is more like 70% hydrogen and 29% helium. But all stars start out with 3 fourths hydrogen and 1 fourth helium, with other trace elements. Number 4. The color of stars can range from red to white to blue. Red is the coolest color. That's a star with less than 3,500 Kelvin. Stars like our sun are yellowish white and average around 6,000 Kelvin. The hottest stars are blue, which corresponds to surface temperatures above 12,000 Kelvin. So, the temperature and color of a star are connected. Mass defines the temperature of a star. The more mass you have, the larger the star's core is going to be, and the more nuclear fusion can be done at its core. This means that more energy reaches the surface of the star and increases its temperature. Number 5. There are many, many stars. How many stars are there in the Milky Way? You might be surprised to know that there are 200 to 400 billion stars in our galaxy. Each one is a separate island in space, perhaps with planets, and some may even have life. But then, there could be as many as 500 billion galaxies in the universe, and each of which could have as many or more stars as the Milky Way. Number 6. The Most Massive Star Ever R136A1, the most massive star. Another way to measure a star is by its mass, which is expressed in terms of solar mass. Astronomers have found a number of very massive stars, such as R136A1, which is in a cluster in the Tarantula Nebula, in the Large Magellanic Cloud visible from the southern hemisphere. This star has 256 times the mass of the Sun and is part of a binary system. No one is quite sure how long R136A1 will last and what it will do when it dies. Some predict it will end in a supermassive supernova explosion when its core collapses. It could also become a neutron star or a stellar black hole. Number 7. Millions of stars are invisible to the naked eye. It is actually impossible to see millions of stars in the sky even on a dark night. There are simply not enough stars that are both bright enough and close enough for us to see them. The most stars a person could see in one night would be 2,000 to 2,500. However, that person would have to have extremely good eyesight and be looking at the night sky on an exceptionally clear night 
with no light from the moon or any other sources. So, if someone tells you that they can see a million stars in the sky, simply dismiss it as poetic license. Number 8. The Sun Produces 100 Billion Hydrogen Bombs Every Second Solar energy is one of the star facts that is receiving more attention in modern society. Every second, the Sun converts 4 million metric tons of hydrogen into energy. This is the equivalent of producing 100 billion hydrogen bombs every second. If we were able to harness this energy, the Sun would produce enough energy to sustain humankind for an incredible 500,000 years. And that's just in one second. So that's what all the fuss is about when it comes to solar energy. Number 9. The Life Cycle of a Star Every star starts out as a giant cloud of gas and dust particles. When gravity causes the cloud of dust and gas to implode, it releases huge amounts of energy, and the star begins to shine. Most stars survive for billions of years. A smaller star, such as our Sun, eventually swells to become a red giant. A red giant may have a diameter of 100 times the diameter of the Sun. Larger stars may become supernovas, releasing more energy in a single minute than our Sun radiates over 9 billion years. Number 10. The more massive a star, the shorter its lifespan. A very massive star may live only tens of millions of years, while a cool dwarf will shine on for billions of years. At an age of about 4.5 billion years, our Sun is considered middle-aged. Number 11. Most stars exist in pairs. Despite what we've just said about not having to have your eyes checked, stars are not as they first appear. Although all stars appear to be individual stars in the sky, many stars actually exist in pairs. These stars are known as binary stars. A binary star consists of two stars orbiting a common center of gravity. In addition to pairs, star systems can consist of three, four, or even more stars. However, each binary or multiple star system is seen as a single twinkling star from Earth. Number 12. Stars don't actually twinkle. Despite the fact that many children are taught the song Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, stars don't actually twinkle. Science has revealed many intriguing star facts, including the fact that the twinkling that we see is actually a property of Earth's turbulent atmosphere. The light from a star passes through the Earth's atmosphere, which has many layers with different densities. This deflects the light, changing its color and intensity. The result of many deflections, especially near the horizon, is the twinkling that we associate with stars. If you could see stars above the Earth's atmosphere, they would cease to appear to be twinkling. Perhaps it's time to rethink conventional nursery rhymes. Now, thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the like button below, and click subscribe to join us on Helios World.